privilege to welcome to our stage this morning from Idaho, Kayani, sales manager, U.S. and Canada, and all around team Fusion guys, Mr. Logan Kinghorn. Thank you. Thank you. I know that's bad dancing, but I had to try. Right? Hey, really quick, I had to wear, wear out a few things. Yeah. We've got a few things exclusive to this event. Woo. All right? Team Fusion Homecoming 2016. You get your Don't Quit Team Fusion hat in the store, as well as the shirt. Now, this is exclusive to this event. So if you want this shirt, you need to get in the store and you need to purchase it as soon as possible. The store is going to be open for a few more hours. But we need you to get in there and we need to purchase it. We've got the, the saying on the front. And then of course, to show that you were here, homecoming May 2016 on the sleeve. All right? Mr. Kinghorn. Mr. Kinghorn. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, you know, Logan Kinghorn is the U.S. and Canada sales manager. He's dedicated. He's, he's dedicated. Now, not, not just by job description, but he's, Team Fusion has been so explosive in growth. He is dedicated as the guy, the go-to guy for Team Fusion. And you know what? Today... Today is his birthday. So here we go. Let's get it done. Are you ready? I thought I was going to be able to slide under the radar on that one. Yeah. Not so, not so much. Well, it's a privilege for me to be with you this morning. Have, have we had an amazing event or what? I mean, it's been amazing. I've had the opportunity of being here since Thursday. We started out with our diamond training on Thursday. Diamonds. Was it great? Yeah. Then Friday, we had our leadership training. Another amazing event. Yesterday kicked off our event for Saturday, and now again today we have, have the opportunity to hear from more of our leaders. And as I've been in, in the audience and listening and taking notes, one thing that has come to my mind is we've got a lot of talent in Team Fusion. Am I right? I just want to give it up to Joe, who is on here with, with, with his ball. He did an amazing job. Let's give it up to Joe. I mean, everything from, from acts to, I, I think we have our, our own Team Fusion, Kayani, Nitro song, um, you know, and then just amazing leaders, amazing leadership. It, it's, it's been incredible. So hopefully I can kick it off right now this morning in the right way and I'm going to talk to you about building a legacy. Nice. All right? And now when you think of the word legacy, you know, a lot of things come to mind. When you think about a legacy, I think of something of value. I think something that is important. It's something that 
you know, when we're gone, it's going gonna, it's gonna to continue to move forward. It's, you know, this, this, could, this could be something, I mean, it could be money, it could be a belief, it could be a business, but it's something that's going to transcend generations. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. So, I want to, you, we've had the opportunity to listen to a couple of our founders, Mr. Kirk Hansen and Mr. Carl Taylor, and they've been able to talk to us and teach us about some of their background, where they've been from, or wh where they've been, and you know what, what they've learned. And so I want to just touch on some of that briefly, but I don't want to spend a lot of time on it, but hopefully I can shine a little bit of a different perspective on it. So I want to first start off talking about Grandpa Taylor. This is Carl Taylor's grandpa. As, as Carl shared with us yesterday, it all started, their farm all started with one horse and three acres. And through a lot of hard work, through a lot of dedication, through a lot of consistency, blood, sweat, tears, you name it, they've been able to grow that, that small farm that grandpa started into a farm of 30,000 acres. They, they, they've taken that one horse. He started out with one horse power, I guess that's what you call it. And he's turned it into several thousand horsepower. So, um, but it's, it's, you know, that in itself is, a, is a truly an amazing story. And to have somebody with that, with his experience and what he's been through, you know, what, what a blessing for all of us to learn from a person like that. Right. Now, one of the reasons that the Hansons and the Taylors get along so well is because they come from similar circumstances. You know, Kirk and Jim's father, Jim Sr., he, he started the, the petroleum business, the Hanson Petroleum business. And it started out, here's a picture with, with his mom and dad in the middle, and then a couple of their partners that they started out with in the beginning. And they, their father ended up buying into the business and then buying the other partners out and taking it over. And you know, the drive, the enthusiasm, the excitement, the passion, that our chairman, Mr. Kirk Hansen, has for Kayani, where do you think he learned that from? He, he, he learned it in a big part from his parents and seeing what his, his father and his mother did. And they took that little petroleum business, you can see right here, they had a couple delivery trucks, they had one fuel station, and they've turned it into a fleet of trucks. They've taken, you can see a few tanks in the background on this picture and they've taken a few thousand gallons of fuel storage and they've turned it into several million gallons of fuel storage. Now, I liked it best what, what Carl told us yesterday. They've taken the small family farm that Grandpa started and they've increased it by, they've increased it 10,000 times. They went from three acres to 30,000 acres. That's a pretty good increase, isn't it? Yeah. Now, the, the, here's another picture of, of Kirk and Jim, but Kirk and Jim have done the same thing and, and their father. They've, they've taken that small business and they've turned, as I mentioned, a few thousand gallons of storage into several, several million gallons of storage. They've taken, they've taken under a, you know, a, a million gallons of fuel sales a year and they've turned it into several hundred million gallons of fuel sales per year. So they've taken that business and they've blown it up. These, this is what's behind Kayani. This is the mentality that is behind Kayani. Starting small, doing, the, doing those, those, those things that lead to success and creating something bigger. And that's the vision for Kayani. Now, just, I, I've shared with you kind of some facts and figures of the farm, of the, of the fuel distribution company. But ladies and gentlemen, do you realize that even after we were in business for four or five years in Kayani, in Kayani, so we're, we're somewhat established, we do more business in a month than we used to do back then in an entire year. Now, today, and I think that's what's incredible about this opportunity. Carl, he loves the farm. Kirk and Jim, they know that the fuel distribution business is, 
has, is something very, very important. Both the farm and the fuel distribution business has led us to where we're at today in Kayani. But one of the reasons that our founders are so excited about Kayani is because, in my opinion, Kayani has the most potential. So we, we, we I, I talked to you about, you know, Carl talked to us about increasing the farm 10,000 times. I believe that there's more potential in Kayani. All right? And if there's more potential in Kayani for growth, that means there's a tremendous amount of potential in this opportunity, in this business, for all of you. Yeah. So, I really liked what, what Mr. Carl Taylor said yesterday. He said, if, if you want to see where you're going in the future, he gave us a gun analogy. And Carl, you know, he, like, he likes the hunt, he likes guns and stuff. And he said, you know, if you have two sights, if you have a rifle and you're trying to, to shoot something off in the distance, there's two sights on it. And if you, if you line up the back sight with the front sight, then you're going to be able to, to know where, you know where that bullet is going. And if we, if we look at Kayani in the same way, if we look at where we've been in the past and where we're at, we're going to be able to project where we're going to be in the future. Do you agree? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a little bit of, of groundwork for where Kayani has been from the beginning. And I'm going to go through kind of a timeline so that you all know where Kayani has come from. So in 2005... Kayani is formed, and the Hansons and the Taylors make the initial investment into Kayani in 2005. That's when they made the investment. In 2006, operations begin, and we launch Sunrise and Sunset. Now notice, we launch Sunrise and Sunset. There was only two products. And I don't know if you can see the pictures that well. I don't know if you can see the logo on it, but we've got, we've got Kayani. But the bottle, that bottle is a little... Skeptical, you know. <laughs> some some people, I don't know. I mean, we're, I've said this before. Maybe it's a bad joke, but it kind of reminds me of a steak sauce bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. And I like steak. 2007, the Kayani board elects Mr. Kirk Hansen as chairman, and right after that, they bring on Mr. Michael Brashears as a CEO. Now, from that point, ladies and gentlemen. We now have between 350 and 400 corporate employees around the world in multiple offices. Idaho is our headquarters. That's where we're based out of. We're, we're, we're proud to be a, an Idaho company, but we have offices in Asia, in Europe, in South America. We have offices around the world. But it really started in 2007, of course, with two key individuals. 2008. Nitro FX is introduced. We, all, we already started introducing new products. We introduced Nitro FX. New markets in Asia are opened. We've got Hong Kong, China, Japan, Taiwan, and our scientific advisory board is formed. Dr. QTAB, Dr. Burke, Dr. Frank Amano, great additions to our team. We get great knowledge and, and information from these people. 2009, CEO Council is established. We already we expanded into Asia. We decided let's expand into Europe. Sweden is open, the first market in Europe for Kayani. The DSA membership is announced. We're, we're starting to gain some attraction, uh, some attention, make, the, make some movements in, in the industry of network marketing. And Kayani is featured in your business at home magazine. New offices are opened in Taiwan and Hong Kong. We move into our, our new corporate headquarters of where, where we're at currently now in Idaho Falls. And for any of you that are coming on the executive trip here in July, you'll be able to, to come tour our corporate office. It's a great, a great opportunity to, to be with the founders, to, to see some of the founders' other businesses, and to visit the home office and have an amazing time doing it. 2010, Kayani forms... Caring Hands. Awesome. Yes. Yesterday we heard from our founder, Carl Taylor, that this, this might be the most important thing that Kayani does. You know, it's something that is super important to, to everything that Kayani is about. We're definitely about giving back, about, about helping other people. Kayani Caring Hands allows us to do that. 
Paygate Global Compensation Plan introduced. Of course there was a... Hey, let's... Yeah, yeah. Of course there was a compensation plan before 2010. But ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't as good as it is now. The, the compensation plan, our founders, our executive team came together and thought, hey, what do we have to do to really blow the doors off of our competition in the industry? We need to pay our people as much yeah. as we can. And that's what we strive to do. 2010, that was a game changer. Another game changer, the dream car program is introduced. How, how many of you like the dream car program? About half of you? How many of you like that dream car program? All right, no more steak, no, no more steak sauce bottle. In 2010, we introduced the new Kayani look, the new, the new Kayani bottle. It's a great symbol for Kayani. It's a great looking bottle. The seven day trial pack was introduced in 2010. Kayani Caring Hands wasn't only formed in 2010, but we went to Ecuador on our first Kayani Caring Hands expedition. So immediately we started to put, you know, go to work with Caring Hands. 2011, we, we kind of revamped our whole packaging look. We changed the packaging. We, uh, our chairman, Mr. Hansen, he went to Japan to give relief to the tsunami victims over there. You know, we're always looking for an opportunity around the world to give back. That was a great opportunity for us. Nitro Extreme was introduced in 2011. So it took, it took a few years, but hey, we rolled out, you know, a mo more por potent version of Nitro Effects. We call it Nitro Extreme. I love my Nitro Extreme. Yeah. New office in, in Gothenburg, Sweden opens, as well as Budapest, Hungary. We win Clear Choice Award from the Glass Packaging Institute because our, our bottle's so sexy. Yeah. <laughs> and, in okay, so 2010 we introduced the Dream Car Program. In 2011, our founders, our chairman, Mr. Kirk Hansen, decides, you know what? I think it's our dream car program would be better if we could allow sapphires to be eligible for it. And what, a, what a great move. What a, what a great move. I mean, you know, what a, I don't know if there's a better way to show what you're doing in the business when you reach sapphire than by going out, finding a nice luxury car, and going to your meetings, going to your one-on-ones, going to your, you know, your larger meetings and pulling up in your nice, Kayani vehicle, yeah. you know, whatever it is, Kayani sticker on the side. People know that you're for real. They know that you mean business. Yeah. 2012, presidential trip to Bora Bora. I know recently a few of you were able to go to the presidential Woo! trip to yeah. Venus. Yeah. Did you have a good time? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. All right. You know, at, at Kayani, there's, there's something for everybody. It might be pay, it might be cars, it might be events, and it might be, it might be trips. We have some, some amazing trips at Kayani. New markets in Turkey, 2012, we start to see higher ranks. Europe has its first red diamond. We open up Malaysia, Singapore. Kayani as a whole has its first double red diamond in 2012. We open up Tahiti, 2013. Kayani Caring Hands goes to Peru for its Kayani, for the Caring Hands expedition. Asia has its first red diamond. We saw US had double red, Europe red. Now Asia has its first red diamond. Germany opens. The China entity is formed. We become more solidified in China. Europe experiences its first double red diamond. And we have a, another opportunity to give back to the typhoon victims in the Philippines through Caring Hands. 2014, we have our first road rally. Any of you know, that were at the road rally last year in Las Vegas, did you have a good time? It, it all started in 2014 in Europe, and we have the opportunity to have another one coming up in Anaheim to have another road rally in the U.S. So the road rally, great experience. If you, if you haven't experienced it, you're going to want to be a part of it in Anaheim. 
We opened up the Philippines. Kayani has its first black diamond. Italy, Italy opens. We enhance our formulations of sunrise and sunset. We introduce uh, nitro powder for a limited time. We introduced a loyalty bonus. Anybody that, can, that sees the long-term vision of Kayani, that wants to be in Kayani for the long term, we want to reward you for that. What, what this does is along with your QV, your CV, what it, the volumes that you get on packs and orders, you also get KV. And after you've been in the company for five years, and after the age of, at 60 or after, then you can start cashing in this volume and getting paid every single month. All right? On top, this is on top of everything else that you're getting. In 2014, we introduced Caring Hands Potato Pack. And I want to say, I want, I want you to know, Team Fusion, you really took a hold of this, this opportunity. It's an opportunity to give back, but it also is a way to help, help your, your, your volume on a monthly basis stay consistent. We give back through, through, through the potato pack, and you can help stabilize your business through that as well. I already mentioned Nitro Extreme Powder was introduced in 2014. Now in 2014, something else happened, all right? There was something else that happened. There was a lot of, you know, there was a lot of thinking that was going on, a lot of strategizing. There was a lot of, there's some communication that was going on, some meetings that were going on. And ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, some people might call this a movement. A movement happened in 2014. In 2014, now look at this. Yeah. Look at this room. Look at this room. It's amazing. You've all been working extremely hard, but it all, it all started in 2014. Now, I might get in trouble for, for the, the next slide, but I, I've got to do it. i got a few glamour shots that i got to show up on the screen. I just wanted to give some recognition where recognition is due. To, to some of the, the, the masterminds behind Team Fusion. Uh, started with this gentleman, Mr. Mark Davenport. Picture. There was a meeting. He was going on. He was speaking. I snuck in, got low, got down. You know, <laughs> popped up with my cell phone. Boom! Captured it. Great picture. <laughs> Next gentleman, Mr. Scott Bolts. Mr. Todd Thompson. Yeah. So moving on, almost almost through the timeline here. In 2015, we introduced a new customer program. Basically, from the corporate office, we thought, you know what? We want to reward you. We want to pay you more when you recruit customers. And so that is basically the basis of our new customer program that we launched in 2015. We opened Australia. But in, in large part, it's the land down under, but in a large part, it's the, it's the land of Team Fusion as well. Yeah. Global Caring Hands, Caring Hands Day was introduced. So if you can't make it on, a, on one of the, 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 glo, the, the Caring Hands expeditions, we started a day where you can help locally in your local market and uh, the local teams put together a service project or, or some type of project to give back to the community and we launched that last year. It'll be coming up in June. 
this year, and you'll get more information uh, through corporate office as well. Russia opens, it opened in 2015. New back office introduced, Teamstream introduced. And then the, 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 we had a Mexico uh, Caring Hands project where we built onto a school. We built running water, functioning toilets for, for children down there. And then we did, we, we also sent uh, goods to earthquake victims over in Nepal. So, yeah. Manny Caring Hands is making a difference, ladies and gentlemen. Now, in 2015, we mentioned, you know, all these different ranks and people rising up in rank and, and achieving different things. There was something else that happened in 2015, ladies and gentlemen. Something else happened. And that was... Kayani's fastest the double red diamond. Yeah. 12, 12 months. This, this, happened, this happened in 12 months. And ladies and gentlemen, with, with the individuals behind us when they started, they were on fire. They were on fire, and they're still on fire today. Yeah. Mr. Brad Stevens, Mr. James Bradford. Now, now back, you know, when they were working, working the Double Red Diamond, you know, they would take some business pictures and, you know, try to, try to, you know, get some stuff out there. And, and this is one of the pictures that they took. <laughs> you know? But now, it's, you know, that's how they look then. This is how they look as Double Red Diamonds. I like that picture, but for some reason they got, you know, the, the, they got the sash coming across, and I think it would look a little bit better if it was black. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, to be continued. To be continued. All right. I've got limited time, and I've got a few things to go through, but it's, t ladies and gentlemen, We've talked about legacies. We've talked about the legacy from, from the Hansons and the Taylors. We've talked about the legacy that has started with Kayani mm -hmm. and the opportunity that that represents for you. And one of the things that we talk about in, in all of this is timing, right? You hear the word timing. Why is timing important? You know, is, is timing critical? Yes. Yeah. Some people say yes. Some other people might say, well, it is, but there's other things that are important as well. But I, I do believe timing is important. And let me, let me tell you why. There's, you know, we, we learned there's the past, there's the present, and there's the future. We can't change the past, right? If we could, we would all go back and we'd change certain things in our past, but we can't. The only thing we can do is learn from the past. Yeah. With the future, we can't jump forward and live in the future. The only place that we can live is in the present, in now. So if we take what we've learned from the past, if we live in the present, then we can write our own future. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. And so I think that's, the, that's one of the important things about timing, is it's about now. It's about now. But if we live in the present, with what's going on right now, there's so, we have the opportunity as well to attach ourselves to something that is happening. And it's going to happen. And this is the movement in Kayani and in Team Fusion. We've heard through the trainings that, you know, we're, we're creating a second wave. Yeah. And, and I don't know if any of you have stepped, stood by the ocean and you've watched the waves crash up against the shore. And if there's a little bit of a storm, I mean, it can get out of hand quick. And I mean, it's powerful. It's powerful. If any of you have surfed, you go out there and you try to catch that wave, and when you catch the wave and it takes you, there's power with it. So this, this wave is happening. It's happening. So if we live in the present, if we live now, and if we can attach ourselves and get on this wave by action, by making a choice to do something, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to take us to a place that we can only imagine. Right. And I think that's the power of... of the timing and everything that's going on around us. Now really quick, before, before I conclude, there's a few things that I just want to reiterate. One is Anaheim registration. Okay. 
last few days we've talked about, okay, this, you know, there's an opportunity to get a ticket for Anaheim at a discounted price. Currently, the price is $149. For this event, we've discounted it to $99. Yeah. Okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, when I say this, this expires tonight. Oh. All right? This expires tonight. You're not going to be able to get it anymore. If you wait to get your ticket, one, you might not get into the event because as our chairman, Kirk Hansen, said, the event will be sold out. And two, if you do get into the event, if you purchase a ticket, a ticket later, you're going to pay a higher price for it. So I encourage each and every one of you to get on, on, on your phone and to register for Anaheim. It's going to be an amazing event. You can either go to shop.coyote.net or you can go through through your back office. Once you get into your back office, you click on shop and then shopping cart and then you get into the shopping cart and click on best sellers. All right? Now, once you've done that for Anaheim, we also have something special for you for this event. We put together a homecoming promotion pack and it includes two Sunrise 30 packs, one Nitro Extreme 8 pack and free shipping. The, the price on it is $199. You get 200 QV, 125 CV, and 200 KV. So, out of, out of all the products, out of all the products that you can buy, this is going to be your best ratio between money spent and volume received. So, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be offered for a limited time as well. So this is a great way as we go into the end of the month for you and your teams to, to, to boost volumes and to get, it. the other thing that it offers is there's two Sunrise 30 packs, there's one pack of eight packs. What you can do is you can, you can take a small bottle and seven, seven of the Sunrise pouches and you can create your own seven day trial. And you can do that for eight different people. You can, it's a great way to get the product in people's hands because we know the product is, is really, what makes a difference, right? It's really what makes a difference in people's lives. So let, let the products do the heavy lifting for you. Get the products in people's hands. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure for me to have an opportunity to speak with you. I, I look forward to spending more time with my family. Team Fusion. As, as we continue to change people's lives and change this industry. Thank you so much. So hi, my name is Nick D'Amico. I'm a diamond in the company. I've been involved with Coyote for about 15 months now. Prior to network marketing, I was a construction worker. I was broke, making $8 an hour. I needed something better in my life. I knew I was worth more, but didn't know how to achieve it. I saw network marketing. I was involved with a previous company for about 12 years. And then all of a sudden, I saw Kayani and Team Fusion, saw the vision, uh, saw the lifestyle that was being created, and decided to give up that 12 years of uh, being in a previous company, start fresh, start brand new with, with Team Fusion. And it's been the most incredible ride of my life for the last 15 months. Uh, we've been able to build up a, uh, an incredible organization in 31 different countries around the world. And it's all due to the system, the done for you model. My favorite part about uh, Kayani is the fact that we get to legitimately help other people have success and literally change their lives, not only with health, but also with wealth. Hello, my name is Oz Fuentes, Blue Diamond uh, from Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, I actually joined the company about a year ago. Uh, it's been an amazing ride. I used to move furniture for a living. I used to own a moving company. Uh, and I was making good money, but I didn't have any time for it. And money comes and goes, but one thing that does not come back is time. And when I found this industry, I was skeptical. I was a little negative, negative about it, but then I did some due diligence. Then I realized it was the best kept secret in the business world. Started running with it, and now we're doing Kayani full time. I've been in it for a year, and it's been an amazing ride. I've been, uh, we've been helping a ton of people all across the nation, all across the world, and expanding markets through South America and Europe and Asia and India, and just doing some great things. And that's what I love the most. Thanks to the Done for You model, uh, it's been an amazing, uh, great thing to be able to do a business from that. Uh, and I just love 
uh, my, the future, the future looks brighter and everything looks amazing.